In this problem, we're told to find the average value of f on the given interval and find c such that f average is equal to f of c. And so we were told that f of x equals x minus 3 squared, and our interval is going to be from 2 to 5. So let's go ahead and start with a. So we need to find the average value of f on this interval. And in order to do this, there's a formula that you want to use. Or use. So f average is going to be equal to 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So this is the formula we use. So f of x is just our function. And then b and a are just going to be these two right, these two numbers. So our lower bounds is a, upper bounds is b. So lower bounds is 2, upper bounds is 5. So let's just go ahead and plug in and solve for this for a first. So it's going to be equal to 1 over b, which is 5, minus a, which is 2. So 5 over 2 is just 3 or 5 minus 2 is 3. And then we multiply it by the integral from a to b, so the integral from 2 to 5 of f of x, which is x minus 3 squared dx. So you can solve this integral in many different ways. I'm going to choose to use u substitution for this, because I think it's easier. You could just multiply it out, use the power rule. Uh, I'm going to use u substitution, though. So if we set u equal to x minus 3, and then we take the derivative of this, it's just going to be 1, right? Because the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of minus 3 is 0. So it's just going to be 1 dx. So if I uh, divide both sides by this, so it's just going to be equal to du. So we can just rewrite this as 1 over 3 times the integral from, and we have to change the bounds, so I'll change that in a second. But we just plug in u for this, so u squared du. And then we're going to change the upper and lower bounds because I'm going to leave it as u because I think it's easier. So what we have to do to change these to be in terms of u is just plug it into this function. So we just got to plug each bounds into our original, or what we set u equal to. So if I plug in 5 for this, u equals 5 minus 3, which is going to be 2. So upper bounds is 2, and then we plug in 2 for this. So hopefully you know how to do this, but it's just a part of solving the problem. So that's going to be minus 1. So it's going to be from minus 1 to 2 of u squared uh, du. So let's go ahead and solve this. So if I do the integral of this, it's going to become u cubed over 3, because we add 1, divide by that, and then we're doing from 2 to minus 1. But if I plug in 2, it's going to become 2 cubed is 8, divided by 3 is 8 over 3, minus, and then plug in minus 1, it's going to become minus 1 over 3. So minus minus 1 over 3 is the same thing as adding 1 over 3. 8 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is the same thing as 9 over 3. And then we can rewrite 9 over 3 is just 3. But keep in mind, we have to multiply it by this, right? The thing out front. So multiply it by 1 over 3. It's just going to become 1. So your answer to A is going to be equal to 1. And then we need to find find C such that uh, this is equal to F sub C. And the way you go about doing that is just by setting this number you solve for. So the average value, set that equal to your original function. But replace X with C. So I think or that's just the easiest way to do it. So take our 1, which was our average value, set it equal to this with C plugged in for X. So it's going to become C minus 3 squared. So if we solve for this, if we square root both sides, that's going to get rid of this, right? So the square root of 1, keep in mind it's going to be plus or minus, though, whenever you square root. Uh, one side, you have to make it plus or minus. So equals C minus 3. So C minus 3. And then I'm just going to write two different equations. So minus 1 equals c minus 3. And then plus 1 equals c minus 3. If I add 3 to this one, c will be equal to 2. And if I add 3 to this one, c will be equal to 1 plus 3 is 4. So there's two different values of c. So uh, it's going to be 2 and 4. So equals 2 comma 4. So these are going to be your answers for B, and hopefully you found this useful.